Hey, it's cool here if you don't know, and it is time for some more of the long run where we are playing Legend of the Gaia. So last time, we liberated the Sibucus Islands from the mist, uh, and then headed off to the Caristo Kingdom. Oh, slot two. I was wondering what happened there. But yeah, we went off to the Caristo Kingdom to uh, hopefully do the same thing over there. Um, and here we are at the Soul Tower. Um, let me just make sure this is the correct save. 2127. Uh, in, uh, right after the last stream ended, as I had mentioned previously, I was planning on doing some, uh, grinding for money. <clears throat> And uh, you will find, when we look at the menu, money grinding has been had. Um, by the time that I was done, I had about 67,000 coins, which I turned into uh, almost a million G. Um, I pretty much got myself a new set of equipment with it, and there's still a couple of things that I want to buy. Also another thing that I bought that I should point out is, uh, da -da 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 -da, if I can find it. Where is it? Solar bread. I don't think I need 20 of them. But hey, buying 20 of them boosts it up my, uh, my point card, so I'm not gonna argue. Um, but yes. There is a reason that I bought this solar bread, and we'll get to that in a bit. Uh, for now, let's go back into the Muscle Dome because there's a couple of things that I did not buy that are like one-time buys that I wanted to do on camera. And that is pretty much the entire top part of this list as well as the, go the gold card. I could have also got Sower Bread here for a lot cheaper than... Um, I got it from the uh, G vendor, but then I wouldn't have gotten the um, the point uh, the points for the point card. So more blood for the blood god, I guess. Um, let me take a drink here. So the first thing I'm gonna buy is the gold card. We only need one of those, and that'll get us into the dance club. Uh, the evil god icon. I I don't remember what most of these things do, I'm going to be honest. But yes, Life Arm Man, Deluxe Rod, those are things you can only buy one time. So, um, okay, let's see what those do. Uh, let's see. The first, the gold card, membership card from Disco and Soul. Uh, there's also another card that I kind of forgot existed that I think we're going to have to pick up at some point in this stream. Okay, so Evil God Icon steal items from enemies in attack. So basically makes it so that we can, uh, so that when we attack, we may end up with an additional item. So kind of a counter to those uh, gremlins that'll just take away our items. Uh, Lost Grail, recover max HP after HP reaches zero. So that could be very useful for a fight that we might end up having a hard time with, keeping in mind we only have one Lost Grail. Uh, Life Arm Man, increase max HP of 25%, that's pretty sweet. And uh, what was the other one? Oh yeah, the Deluxe Rod, just a, a new fishing rod that will probably get us better results than the old rod. We'll do fishing at some point, I, I'm not in a hurry. Um, so yeah, pretty much the way that I ended up getting all that money. Let me just demonstrate. We're not, we're not going to do a whole lot of this, because I've already done all of this. But uh, it's very easy. You go to one of these machines. I think it specifically has to be the ones in Seoul, but I could be wrong. Uh, square, cross, and circle. So basically, hold those down and turn on 
That's supposed to turn on Turbo. Why is it not doing that? Let's pretend Turbo is on. So eventually you start get you start getting this. This is kick over and over, and eventually uh, you will get these kick icons lined up. So now these turn into numbers, and you look at the numbers that show up on the center line, multiply them together, and you get that many coins. This time I only got 14, but you can get as many as a thousand, and that's how you make your coins. Uh, eventually you might also get punch, which uh, gives you three bonus spins. Uh, so you just basically put this on turbo, like the 50 coins that I got from Baka Fighter were plenty enough to prime the machine so that I could just leave it going and end up with 67,000 coins after about an hour of it on uh, turbo mode. Oh, all right. It occurs to me that my, uh, my game window was not focused. So now if I do that, now it's doing turbo. Add high speed to that, leave that running for about an hour, you'll get plenty of coins. Kick, oh that's cool. So you take all of those coins, you go over to this lady, you buy a bunch of Vitality Rings. Uh, let me buy it. Let me buy one here just to show the, the entire process. So you buy a bunch of Vitality Rings. I bought like 39 of them. I still have one on hand plus the one that I just bought. And then I think down is the shop. No, down is the mist area. Let's go back. Broadway. Uh, bakery, I think that's it. Also upstairs from the bakery is um, the equipment shop, so you can also go there. This guy sells sword red for 6,000. So I guess you could also buy sword red technically. So you come to this guy and just um, da -da -da -da, sell him all your vitality rings, which sell for 25,000 a piece. And bada bing bada boom, you got a lot of money. Unfortunately, I don't think we can buy phoenixes here in Seoul. So that's not great. Ah, oh, where else? Oh, Life Grail. Well, gee, yeah, I would love it. Not for 90,000, lower the price. Not for 60,000, lower the price. 40,000? Okay, fine. But now we have another Life Grail. I don't know if buying these incredibly expensive healing and magic fruits from this girl is gonna do anything. I don't think it's gonna do anything. We're all out of life for you, so there. And then, you know, it's a cafe. It's a day school, and then that leads to the roof.
So I think there there are a couple of places where we can buy phoenixes. So we would just need a we would just need to get outside, use a door of wind, and uh, take care of that. But before we do anything else. Now we have a gold card, we can go into the Soul Fever Disco. Ah, uh, that music. Listen, I have a gold card now, let me in. Why are you holding on to my gold card while I am here? Oh, whatever. Also flashing lights warning, apparently. I forgot this was so flashy. It's okay to tell you a lousy dancer. Dance contest, huh? Alright, that sounds like fun. No gonna go dancing. There are lots of talented dancers here today. Who will be the new Dance Queen of Soul? Now let's start the preliminaries for the world famous Soul Dance Contest. Whoever wins the tough preliminary gets to compete against Queen Mary for the title. The judges are ready. When the music starts, start dancing your hearts out. And so yeah, this is a rhythm game by the way. Yeah, those triangles are uh, extra bonus moves. Unfortunately, they do kind of throw a... Uh, they kind of throw a wrench in the works if you do it at the wrong time. And unfortunately, we did not win. Also, I think there might be some timing issues with... Uh, you know, modern technologies. Contestants, you all dance superbly. Thank you, everyone. Now, for the judges' decision, winners of the dance contest preliminaries are... Oh, but that that is enough for us to get in. We just needed to be second, not uh, first. I don't think I'm going to win, though, because, like... We weren't, e we weren't even close to first. Wow. Rude. Now it's time for the Soul Dances... Uh, for the... Now it's time for the Soul Dance Contest Finals! Introducing the contestants. First, a lovely dancer, sure to... Uh, sure to dance gracefully tonight with pretty green hair, Kathy. Next, in the middle, a dancer of amazing skill and grace, already a legend, Queen of Dance, Mary. Last, a dark horse, an unknown now, but will that change tonight? It's Noah. Now, for that breathtaking moment, the start of the dance finals. Ready? Aw, oh, man. Yeah, she kind of burst, uh, burst ahead there at, at the end. 
I'm kind of remembering what uh, what I'm trying to do for that, though. Thank you, everyone. Tonight, Dance Queen Mary has successfully defended her crown. How long can she remain undefeated? That concludes today's live coverage of a hot, hot event. Aww. Oh, you did great, Noah. I'm gonna give it one more try. If I don't get it this time, I'm not gonna worry about it. But yeah, I believe the thing to do is... So you do the first four moves, that's level two, then you use your super that bumps it up to level three, use another super, don't use the last one until the end of the song. Yeah, there we go. Way ahead of the pack there. Jerk again. So just do the same thing. Hopefully, I'll be enough points. There we go. It came back to me. It just took a second. <laughs> oh my! Unbelievable! Mary has been defeated by the new dance queen tonight! With an elegant yet energetic style, Noah has taken the crown. Tonight is the beginning of a new legend! The new Dance Queen Noah now receives from the Dance Contest Committee prize money of 10,000 G and the swimsuit. The swimsuit, huh? Let me guess who can equip that. I thought for sure. Uh, unless it's equipment. Like, uh, no? Oh! It's a key item? How oh, is that a key item? Well, whatever. 
Anyway, so that put us ahead by uh, a good 9,000 G. Also, we got that uh, that swimsuit, and I'm not really sure why we got the swimsuit, but okay. Um, all right, let's go find the end so we can restore um, Vaughn's MP. And then we will uh, head down to the bottom. Nope, that's not where the inn is. Cafe, community hall, warehouse, elevator, farm shop, bakery. Broadway, elevator, beaver disco, nothing. Muscle Dome, Elevator, Jazz Club, in! Yeah, there it is. Unfortunately, I didn't react fast enough. Are we gonna get a dream sequence? Father? Is that you, Father? No, there is something I must tell you. What? In the past, we made a horrible mistake. Mother? Something, something we could not undo. The mistake is what has devastated the world. It is also what has kept us separated for so long. Now we are paying for that mistake by being trapped in this eternal darkness of deep mist. Noah, you must undo the mistake that has led to this devastation. We can give you the power to change fate. Noah, come to us so that we can atone. Where are you? Where should I go? In Conk, you can change. Conk, got it. Mother, I'll go. I'll find you, I promise. All right, guys, you heard the dream. We got to go to Conk. Um, let's go ahead and save, and then we can go down to uh, go down to the basement. See what so see what we can do with this uh, Genesis seedling. Although, before we end up going to the basement, I might try to go to, um, to like a town somewhere in Sabucus and uh, see if I can get some, uh, phoenixes. I'm gonna bring up the guide here, and, uh, where can we buy a phoenix? We can buy phoenixes in Vidna. Alright. While we're going down here... So remember that bread that I bought? That I bought like 20 of them? That I definitely did not need 20 of them? I smell something good! That smells so good! It's so bread! Thank you. The sage's hunger has been satisfied. So that's what we're doing. 
in in order to avoid um, looting those boxes, coming back to like bite us in the butt, we're gonna feed the boxes. I probably could have used the waters to begin with, but like. I did not feel particularly comfortable doing it. I think there was like six or seven of those boxes. There's at least six for sure. Oh boy, here we go. I'm gonna die! Now that was just kind of rude. Yet. <laughs> now let's not forget to uh, to heal up uh, Gala after that. He's gonna be back up, but with one health. Um. And Vera levels up out of that, so that's not all bad. So what if I... Okay, so it just stays there glowing so that we don't, like, now that it's closed again, we know that it has been looted and fed, so we can just look at a glance and be like, okay, we've dealt with that box. So while this turn is rolling out, I'm gonna make sure that, uh... Let's see. Ah, there are eight. This again on Gala again, too. Okay, instant death does not appear to be on the wheel. MP half is, though, and I'm not happy about that. That's, uh, that seems like a very reasonable thing to do, Jewel. I probably actually should do that. Okay, we have fed three boxes so far. I think this is the exit, right? Yeah, that is the exit. Well, I'm back in. the elevator room. Is 
So this here should lead to three more of the boxes. It's one here. That's four. Spoon! Spirit, and I think I'll have you actually now uh, you cast orb. And uh you can keep attacking. Levels up. Excellent. Also, something that uh, some people may have noticed. Uh, the more the Rosser level up, uh, it actually does change their physical appearance. The problem with navigating these rooms, though, is the fact that, like, it's real easy to get turned around. So, so far we've fed five boxes, we've already fed that box, and that was, like, at the top of the thing, so... Just came through there... I think there's a staircase over here, yep. There should be... Yeah, there's another box up in the corner there. I'm guessing that the other two boxes are probably just a lower down. Okay, focus the shade. This guy needs to go down real quick. Oh crap. Gala again? What do you have against Gala specifically? Oh, poison? Oh, toxic. Toxic ain't great, but it goes away at the end of the battle. So I'll I'll accept it.
I'm not sure if I had uh, Gala try, uh, at least try to spear it up. I don't think we're gonna get to his turn. Especially if you're just gonna go ahead, go ahead with the full on fire bro. Down you go. Okay, so that is six boxes fed. There are eight in total, and I I would wager to say that we haven't seen the other two yet. So now that we're at the exit, I'm going to get out of here for a second. We're going to make a couple of stops. to go to Vidna. I guess you weren't here at the beginning of the stream. Uh, I, I didn't grind experience. I did grind money and got my equipment up to the best that I can get right now. Since we got uh, kind of wrecked in those fights, let's go ahead and uh, rest up. That's good. It's fine. As you can see, my money is... Um, a lot. <laughs> Actually, just for fun, let's buy another metal ring. In fact, I'll have one of everything on the menu. Anything that I don't have right now, I'm gonna have now. Um. Hang on. Guide was uh, Vidna Gift Shop. The double asterisk there, what does that mean? I don't know what the double asterisk means. Okay, is there another shop where I can buy Phoenix? Octum. Alright, so... I guess we're making another trip. Octum. This door is the one with the shop in it? Yes. Also accessories, including a couple that we probably don't have yet. 
So again, I'm gonna make sure that we have as many things as we could possibly need. There are our lovely phoenixes. I am buying ten of those. I think if I really need any other, like any additional quantities of anything. No, ten is fine. Also, let's uh I'm just gonna check your equipment shop. Your this is probably not gonna be any any good upgrades. Like Noah could use the survival axe, but that would just slow her down ultimately. Yeah, there, there's no there's no additional upgrades. Yeah. The geometry for this place is a little weird. Uh, but there's one more stop that I want to do. Before we return to Salt. And that is to Drake Castle. I forget what this item does, but it does something and I want it. And now we gotta go all the way to the back, where the king is, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know why this castle's so long. Okay, that's not Drake Aurora. I believe the king is here. Yes. I'm going to this room. And we have the platinum card. Um, I believe the platinum card is the equipment. Buy secret items at special location. That's probably actually. Let's go back to Vidna. I bet that's what that double asterisk was. Hydrate is probably a good idea today, yeah. I mean, don't I, I don't necessarily uh, redeem it like on every cooldown, but like. Fact is, I probably do need to cool down. It's kind of warm in here. I would like to have the window open, but uh, around the time that the stream started, the children were all outside and screaming. No, you didn't. I'm just... I'm not saying you did. So, before we go back to Seoul, let's go to Vidna and see if there's a difference. Also, how many? We have 15,000 points right now. I think the maximum is like a million minus one. By the way, let's use these waters. Just using them all on uh, on Noah, apparently. Uh, we don't really need to give her intelligence. I'm gonna give that to Vaughn because that will help with his spell casting, as well as MP. Now the sword red I think can be used to heal up is just 
real expensive of a thing to use on healing necessarily. I still don't really know what this swimsuit is about. Also, I keep forgetting to save to a new slot when I when I start a recording. Okay. Uh, let's go to vid. And I don't think that the Platinum card is something that I really discovered the first time that I played it. When I played this game. Because it's not really obvious, so it's, it's a really kind of guide dang it kind of item. See there, you know it's there. Or you don't, and maybe you luckily stumble upon it from checking everything. But yeah, sure enough. Vidna sells phoenixes and magic leaves now. That was the trick. And it's really obvious when there is an item that uh, is there because you have the platinum card. Okay, no more stops. Let's go back to Seoul. Wait, would I be able... Does that put me, like, inside the map? What, am I able to use... Yeah, I guess I can be on the bridge and use a door of wind. That's interesting. I did not realize that. I guess because, like, I'm outside and the, um, the world map music is playing. Okay. Let's keep going down. I believe this is another elevator room. Well, this looks exciting. What is this? He who seeks the warrior square must sate the sage's hunger, then the sage's gate will open. There are two more hungry sages. So I guess this the sage door thing is required. And I kind of forgot about it. All right, so I guess we're uh, we're hunting sages. Not doing too great this fight. needs heals. Um, let's use Vera for that. Of course, everyone's spending their, uh, 
spending their AP profusely. Unfortunately, that doesn't seem to have recovered her curse. Okay, so we got to find two more boxes. Naturally, the uh, elevator is still broken. Let's get that uh, shade dealt with. I realize I probably should have uh, done some uh, spiriting there, but uh, right now I'm more worried about the sage. Curse all. Oh good, that's exactly what I needed in my life, curse all. Um. Well, now I'll show you. And unfortunately it doesn't seem to be a map of uh, Soul Tower. This again. So now we gotta go around and figure out where I missed a chest. Do I have the silver compass on? I don't. I probably should. So that we can focus more on that. I don't think that there are any uh, sage chests in the elevator rooms. There's one there. There's one down that uh, staircase to the left. Oh, 
Man, everything sucks down here, honestly. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do, I have a, uh, a list of, yes, you're a terror monster, I have a list of very itemized directions. So I'm going to head back up to the third floor. And we're going to go through these directions as they're listed. And that starts with return to the inn and heal up and then head downstairs. We don't, we don't necessarily have to heal up, but I'm going to do it because it's just a sensible thing to do. Well, we're gonna see some boxes that we've already seen, but that's okay. Go past the elevator on the third floor and enter the orange door. On the right side of the room, you'll find a chest containing magic water. Is that chest there? Examine the chest after getting the water and feed it the server bread. Go down the stairs in the house and open the chest at the bottom to get the guardian water. Uh, feed this chest to server bread as well. Down the next set of stairs is a chest with life water. Oh jeez. Yeah, I think it's more important, honestly, to take care of the shade. Because shade is nasty as F. have been handled. Uh, you can fight, you can fight. I think the thing that I think something is coming back to me here. And the next turn. you attack. I'm going to have you, because I think this is a thing that I can do. No, okay. I thought that was a thing that I could do. I, I think I have to show the camera stone to someone else before I can do the thing that I was thinking of. Okay. 
Vaughn levels up and we also get a door of light so we can get out of here if, uh, if the going gets rough. Okay, down the stairs. The chest with the life water. This is that one there. Give the chest some sort of bit afterward. Leave this place and go right. I'm just using this guide so that we don't spend like the next three hours trying to find the... Okay, past the main exit and past the elevator, go to the door after that. On the right side of this area is another box. Which we are already seen with the power water inside, feed this to store grid. Go downstairs. Okay. Get the healing berry from this chest. Or place it with sword, right? Up two floors behind the counter is another chest. Surprise the enemy while well, us just leave him alone. So up two floors, behind the counter, oops, so that box over there is another chest uh, that contains wisdom water, feed this chest the store. Uh, leave the room and go left. Enter the arms shop. Uh, have we been in here actually? We probably haven't. This is probably what I missed. Yeah, sure enough. Did I get the swift water from this box? And put the sorrow bread inside. And you'll find the final chest upstairs. It's also a regular chest with a phoenix inside. And a wonder elixir in the sage chest. And there's some rumbling. Uh, let's go ahead and use your orb, actually. More worried about the ghost night. Oh, come on, really? This is why I'm more worried about the ghost night. Because it's incredibly defensive and also does a crap load of damage. Accidentally had Vaughn attack Spoon there because he didn't attack the first turn. Another Neo Wintash! Great! Ow! Please stop doing that, that is very painful. There we go. Not gonna be able to do that anymore. Uh, Vaughn, you're gonna cast Orb again. Uh, you're gonna attack, and you're also gonna attack.
There you go. Everyone but Gala topped off, and Gala's only 22 points away, so... Not that big of a deal. Spoon decides to get defensive. Not defensive enough. Yeah, that was a little rough, wasn't it, buddy? Okie dokie. Um, I don't think there's a down staircase here. So now... I was gonna keep going to the left. To the left. Oh boy, oh boy, it's a shade. But you're all excited to see the shade. Unfortunately, he decides to do just a normal attack. Everything is so defensive. What? What? What is even going on? Stop that. Get some help. Yeah, everyone's going to spear about this turn. She was able to restrain herself from using too much AP there. I appreciate that. And then I glare over at Vaughn, who uses probably the majority of what he had. Sages have been satisfied. But what shall we do? Something weird is going to happen. I know it. Calm down, Noah. Listen, I hear something. Impressed? Oh, who the hell are you? You solve my riddle, don't be scared. I'm Usha. Dr. Usha, I am pleased to make your acquaintance. Hi, Dr. Usha. Don't be alarmed, this is a mechanical device. It is not the real me. I know not whether I will still be alive by the time you hear this message. I recorded this message just after sealing the Sage's Gate. This I did to protect the Warrior Square from the approaching mist and its cohorts. If I am lucky, I will survive the mist long enough to meet you. Proceed with the Genesis Tree Seedling. Heroes, drive the mist from Seoul. Dr. Usha, he disappeared. 
Vaughn, how did Dr. Ruta know that we were here? We should take the Genesis Tree seedling back to, uh, down to Warrior's Square, like Dr. Usha said. That's true, I got, I did get, uh, a couple more waters. We got the, actually, I think we only got the one water? Right, you can speed up a little bit. Yeah, we got the Wonder Elixir is what we got. Because all stats up for one battle. He's a doctor. He knows things. That's what he does. Hey, Tyrion. How you doing? So now we are in the depths of the uh, Soul Tower. Let's finish Sonic Unleashed. I hope the ending was worth it. I know it probably wasn't, but I hope it was. That's about what I was expecting. <laughs> like, for, from your descriptions of how the game was going, I was like, you have a lot of fun right up until the end. Ah, so, so basically the, um... The zero time dilemma problem. It's, it's real good until the big plot twist at the end, and then you hate everything. Escala, that's your weapon. You, you've used it well. A sixth what? No stage in a Sonic game should go for an entire hour. It's a race. It's meant to be a race, not a marathon. Legends of Saul. Theory of War. More Theory of War. City planning? The guy in Animal Life. All 25 volumes of Nakio's The Prince. Hmm. Took 64 minutes, you had to rank B. That's ridiculous. Medusa. Okay. Guess what we're focusing on immediately. down. Oh, here it comes. Oh, on Gala as well. Great. The only person who had not attacked yet that turn. So pretty much Gala is out of the rest of the fight. I actually do not think that there is a way to get rid of stone. Unless there's like... A specific item for it. I don't think the, the medicine even works. On the plus side, Gala is still a valid target and if someone starts attacking Gala, um, he has 100% defense. He takes no damage from anything. As demonstrated here. Oh, my God. 
But I do believe that the stone status does go away after the fight. Those statuses tend to not persist. Um, yeah, he's fine. People are getting a little scuffed up, though. I might want to, might want to deal with that. There we go. Soul mythology. More of soul mythology. More of the prince. Well, anyway, we found the library apparently. Another Medusa, great. Hmm. That's fine. Couldn't have done that with Noah, could you have? Can I interest you in, in, in any void? Or a void except... Oh, has been removed. I think I still have the ivory book. It just has not been taken. Uh, like, it... It has been taken away from my active inventory, which I'm surprised that worked on Vaughn, considering that he's, um, you know, currently a statue. Yeah, it seems like Soul Tower is just like the tower of massive trolls. Because every like almost everything except like Spoon really sucks to fight. Oh, what's happening? Oh, zero! Why have I told you about getting stoned? Listen, it's legal in Canada, okay? People want to be statues in Canada? I'm not gonna argue. Um, yeah, and I do need to re-equip the, uh... Now, where is it? There we go. Also, hello, zero. How are you doing? There's a box there. The Wonder Amulet. I wonder what this amulet does. Hang on. Buttons. Okay, there we go. Nullify all abnormal status. Yeah, I'm equipping that. Especially here. 16 months. Time does kind of fly, doesn't it? Yeah, it basically is the ribbon. Yeah, honestly, like, the, uh, the Seru are the easiest thing to fight here. 
Like if if there's a Seru in the fight, don't worry about them. If there's a different monster in the fight, panic. Man, everyone laying in with those hyper arts now. And Noah levels up. A box with a golden book. What does this do? Golden Book. I rebook. There it is. Increase gold obtained after battle, 25%. Interesting. I don't particularly need it because I have a way better uh, method of making money, as you can see from the menu screen here. Construction of Saul began in the age of the legendary Emperor Tora the First. Said the Tora the First chose the site because of the Genesis tree. Since mythical times, the Genesis tree has been considered the guardian tree of Saul. For some unknown reason, the Genesis tree withered in the age of the Holy Emperor of uh, the Holy Emperor Tora the Fourth. Tora the Fourth moved the Genesis tree to Byron Temple, in keeping with the prophecy of Hari. This monument is dedicated to the memory of the Genesis tree. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and top up. Because there's a save point here, and you probably know what that means. Is there another box here? I don't think there is. The air is so cold. I'm chilled to the bone. This place is so weird. The air is stale from being sealed in here for so long. Hey, what's that? They're in the middle of those strange rocks. That must be the warrior square that Dr. Usha was talking about. The square must be behind those stones. Oh, I want to see the square. I want to go through the stones. Let's see what this lever does. Well, I took out half of them. Interesting. All right. Oh boy, oh boy, Medusa. I dare you to glare at, uh, at Bond this time. Larrick Vaughn, come on, do it. You know you want to. Now, nope, just attacks him. Really. Actually, you go ahead and spirit. 
And the other two attack. And of course, now that I was actually taunting uh, Medusa to actually do something, she didn't. Uh, actually, you go ahead. Yeah, both of you need to spare up. And you're not gonna have the chance. Fantastic. <laughs> okay, where? Okay. So once I pull a lever, then that color is going to be open until I go back through it. And then where is the red? Over here. This is a very strange puzzle. And that's arguably a puzzle. Like the in what makes this annoying is the uh the RPG battles in between. Because the game needs to remind us that this is still an RPG. Oh, you... Okay, so that's not actually a status, so you can still do that, right? Unfortunately, the silver compass is not actually going to affect this fight, but I do want to make sure to actually equip it when uh, when we're done here, because uh, that will affect things while we're trying to make our way through this uh, labyrinth. I do might might need to do a little bit of healing, or we're uh, a little worse for wear at the moment. I didn't say anything. Google, what are you doing? Okay, so we've pulled both of the big levers. Now we just need to go back downstairs. Uh, we're gonna need to pull this again. Oh right, I forgot to equip the thing. Come to think of it, before we go down to Warrior Square, we should probably go back up and save so that we don't have to do that puzzle again if we die. Hey, J-Pop, hi, dude. Drive impact into level 3. 
Level 3 what? Unfortunately, I do not understand that reference. Ah, Street Fighter 6, gotcha. Also, um, thank you for the resub. Also, at 16 months. Y'all are super cool. Right, so I need to re-equip the, um... Uh, da 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 Silver Compass, there it is. Alright, going back for a second to save. Actually, I'm also going to change my equipment because we're obviously going into a boss here. Uh, and I'm not going to need the silver compass for the boss. So you're going to get... Actually, let's go take a... Let's see. Guardian chain for Noah. Yeah, that I was gonna do that actually. Um, Zelda's crown might be a good idea. I give him the metal ring actually. Uh, you are going to get instead of the burning jewel, I'm gonna give you the guardian chain. I think that's fine. Also going to, now that I think about it, if I use, because this is a level 9 Vera, it also restores uh, AP. If I use it out of battle, oh, can't use it out of battle if you're already at full health. But let's, uh, let's try that on Noah actually. <laughs> Come on. So right now she has 44 AP. If I use Vera on Noah, no, it does not. Okay, that's good to know. I mean, everyone's going to be starting with Spirit as usual anyway, so it's not a big deal. Um, let's go ahead and use some Magic Leaves. Uh, we'll stop you after the healing leave. So now we can go downstairs. Well, we gotta run into a fight or two, but that's okay. War half. It's the world of war half. It's half of the world of Warcraft, you see. It's the embodiment of half of Warcraft. I guess, in that it in that it looks like a murloc.
Murloc! I think we should be able to just make it to the middle now. Vaughn, the Genesis tree! We have to climb the seedling quickly! Vaughn, hurry! I'm worried about Sungi in Gaza! Ah, thank you for always thinking of me, members of the Moron Brigade. I wouldn't want to ruin my reputation by not living up to your moron's expectations. I'm using the word moron twice. Really, dude? Sungi! Leave here peacefully, now! Sungi! What'd you do with the old man, Gaza? Well, well, how touching. The barbarian girl is fond of the old geezer. Oh, I'm steaming. You want to see him that much? Then go ahead. Gaza, come out, Gaza. We have visitors. This is the wrong genre to have Gary Yoke as the antagonist. <laughs> I'm just as crazy about this geezer as you fools are. In fact, I liked him so much that I gave him a custom fitted Simseru. He's a super geezer now, and quite a formidable opponent, too. Now then. I'll leave you to the geezer. If you'll forgive me, I must be going. I'm so busy now. I would wish you good luck, but that won't do you any good. <laughs> oh man! Noah, stay away from him. He's possessed by Sarah. I mean, he is now. Ah, um, the old man, Kaza, he is. He's being destroyed. He's in a frenzy. There's nothing to do now but fight him. Thou wouldst hinder my path of carnage. You must die. Prepare to die by the steel of the astral sword. Prepare to meet thy doom. So yeah, we're fighting Gaza again, except this time he has a sim server. So it's probably a very good thing that uh, we gave Noah that uh, guardian chain. Get the art list out here so that I can uh, get those super arts lined up. Ouch. Okay. As usual, I'm I'm mostly gonna have Vaughn handling the healing. Especially considering that uh, his Vera is able to restore AP. Uh, is this the one that I want? Yeah, I think it is. And, uh, yep, that sounds good to me. So now Gaza just straight up cannot defend this anymore. So no more defending like half of my attack.
Now the only thing is... Noah can also not walk. I think we're gonna need Spoon. Okay, so that's not a full heal, but it does heal for a lot. And now it heals for a little more. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Also helps that Noah was spiriting. But I am going to have uh, Vaughn cast Orb. Just kind of top him off there. That was a beautiful number, 2242 in one attack. Okay, everyone top off. At least Gaza seems to be... Um, Decently slow. Oh, but here we go again. So is he gonna do that every other turn? Is that the joke here? Go ahead and spoon it up. Um I'm gonna spirit, and uh, I'm gonna have you cast orb as well. Till he has no MP. I'll well, see if we can outlast him. Actually, it seems like uh, Spoon is already strong enough that I really didn't need to cast Orb on top of that. Oh well. Better safe than sorry. Hi, great. Hydration achieved. Um, I'm gonna have you attack actually, because you do have uh, spirit up. Uh, and I'm going to have you. Is your gonna be enough? Yeah, your veer is level eight. I'm not worried. Just a couple of them at the end there. Oh jeez, Vaughn's dead. Yep. I should have had Vaughn heal himself. Oh well. And you're gonna cast Vera and 
have no effect. Okay, so this is this needs to be in the correct order. You, Phoenix, Vaughn, you, Orb, go. Good. Noah's a little low, so I'm going to actually... Um, I'm not sure. Actually, I think casting Spoon... Is it going to work? Let's try. Uh, you're going to Orb, though. And I'm going to have you Spirit. Actually, it would work out if um, if Gaza were to do uh, Neo Star Slash next. Actually, no, Gala would be dead. That would not be great. Okay. Now we're gonna we're gonna have full health for everyone. So even if we do get hit with a um, with a Neo Star Slash, everyone should survive this. Well, I'm starting to run a little low on MP though, so I'm gonna have to restore that. Yeah, here comes the Star Slash. Wow, the trick the trick really is to uh, spirit against that. Cause look at Gal, he like his HP is still way up there. And he really does that like every other turn. Uh, you're gonna spear it up, and I'm gonna have you use a magic fruit on one. Everyone but Noah topped up, and Noah's only about 40 points away. 46. And Noah, who is currently spiriting, is not going to take as much damage from that as uh, she otherwise would. Vaughn back up to full health. Up to near full MP, rather. Um, so I'm going to have you cast Vera on Noah. Everyone else is gonna brace. Because if, um, if Gaza's got any juice left, he's gonna probably do his big attack now. Vaughn's still gonna be able to, to survive this. Yeah, easily. Okay, so if we happen to lose this fight, I have a new strategy. Just spear it every other turn starting with the second because like that's going to help immensely. Like it's a pattern really. Um do I use spear or do I want to use an item? I'm gonna use an item actually. Let's make sure that we get uh, as much HP as possible. You're gonna attack and you're gonna attack. Oh, my God. 
to the point where if uh, if you have another big one coming along um, uh, Gal is not going to survive another big one not even if he spirits uh, let's go ahead and Vera on Gala the other two are going to spirit Astral Wave. And of course attacks Vaughn. I'm thinking though that uh, Gaza might be out of juice because that was the turn he was gonna usually have casted uh, near Star Slash and he didn't. Go ahead and orb. And you two are going to attack. Starting to fall. Ew, that stings when you're not defending it. Oh, you're gonna attack first. I was actually not expecting that. and the two of you attack. So that wasn't the best attempt at this, but definitely wasn't the worst. We uh, we got it one, we got in one. So Vaughn and Gala, Vaughn and Gala level up. The old man, Luke Noah, the horrible Siru separating from Gaza's body. Utterly defeated by the enemy. Failed to keep the vow I made. I dream never to come true. Ah, Theodore held. Terra, Terra, he's dying. Don't let him die. Help him. Terra, you're a Rossera. You have amazing powers. Please help the old man. Now, uh, Gaza's body is dying. There is nothing we can do. However, 
Yes, that's it. It may be possible to keep his spirit alive. Special powers are needed to raise the Genesis tree, Seedling, into a full-grown Genesis tree. Gaza's strong spirit, which, tra which trapped Gaza in its prison. It's pure and earnest enough to provide the Genesis tree seedling with the energy it needs. Gaza's soul will live eternally in the Genesis tree in Warrior Square. You mean the old man is going to turn into a Genesis tree here? I am to become a Genesis tree. Now that I have failed to uphold my vow, and I can die contentedly. Please help me join with the Genesis tree. Noah, Gaza's pulse is getting weaker. Old man, if you really want to join with the Genesis tree... Fine. Place the Genesis tree seedling next to Gaza. Let his energy flow into it. And imagine turning into a tree. And so the old man was reborn into the Lorax. By your powers combined, I am Captain Planet! Yeah, that, that in Fallout 3, really? And the influence of the Genesis tree expunges the mist from the soul region. With the power of the Genesis tree, Meta's level increased to level 6, Terra's to level 5, Ozma's to level 4. And watch, the next time that we're, uh, that we're in combat, their raw hair actually look different. Like, they're bigger and beefier, basically. Vaughn, wow, Noah, look! That's Gaza's keepsake! Vaughn, wow, th that's the old man! He wants, us, he wants us to use it now that he's gone! Vaughn wow, now has the Astral Sword. I'll be demonstrating why it's a bad idea to use it. For an instant, Gaza's, uh, Gaza saw his grandchild, Mara's face, and you, Noah. Old man, I mean, Grandpa, watch over all of us, okay? So yeah, we no longer have to worry about uh, battles in this area here. Big old tree. Uh, in fact, I think that's a bigger tree than like any of the other trees. Old oh, man. And so we have liberated the soul tower and the region around it from the mist and so that we can continue deeper into Coresto Kingdom but we shall have to do so after the break and also I forgot to take off the stuff from the super shuffle again because I am a doofus there we go so y'all can take a moment uh, get something to drink, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth in about 
10 to 15 minutes, we shall continue in our journey and see what the lo- uh, what lies beyond the soul region and why it's not the best idea necessarily to be using the astral sword. So, I'll see you in a bit.